Hello everyone, this is Two Pretty Ds. Uh, we're starting off uh, this particular podcast first. We want to uh, remember the um, over 30, 38 people who were shot in Uvalde, Texas. And we just wanted to say um, rest in peace to the 19 children and two teachers that lost their lives at Rob Elementary School, School in Uvalde, Texas. So uh, just taking a quick moment of silence and to mm-hmm. remember them. Yeah, just to remember them. And also too, to remind everyone about <clears throat> the sheer craziness with the gun violence. Oh, absolutely. Everybody's aware of that. Every yeah. country on this planet. Can't, Except, un- can't understand, understand why the U.S. is doing what it's doing. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, with us, it's we um, we go out, mm-hmm. we do what we have to do, and we come back. You know, it's like, uh, we live pretty close to um, Deep Al. Yes, where uh, they've had previous shootings in the past. A couple of days, you know, every yeah. couple of days. Yes. We, close to Bishop Arts District. Yep. Um, you know, we in, uh, we're not in downtown Dallas, but... We're close, close to enough. All, all, of, all of these quote unquote party places, and um, it's just crazy. Yeah. You know, uh, things are happening everywhere, not just Dallas. You right. Know, and it's because of this uh, gun control. Lack thereof. Lack thereof. Yes. And we're so, so happy, this podcast, you know, we're so happy to see that our girl, Megan. Megan stepped up. Stepped and we're going to talk about yes. that in this episode. Okay. And you know, we're this episode 28, it really is about minding your business. Yeah. Because people always want to interject and put their own spin on things. Mm-hmm. So, kicking it off, <clears throat> we're definitely going to be talking about services universal. Right. Time and time again, the the Sussexes have shown how this is true. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we're going to talk about the community. Mhm. Um then the community, a, community in Uvalde. With, with respect to what happened in Uvalde. Mm-hmm. And then uh, transition into the future um, with the, the dandiness. Uh, the past royals. Yes. And um, the future. The future. And will will Lizzie be the last? We, we don't, don't know. No. And then we know the ongoing plan and attacks. Right. But of course, throughout this all, <laughs> there's definitely time, time. some deep. Because <laughs> people ain't minding their business, y'all. I know. But not at all. So starting with the first, mm-hmm. our girl, yes. Megan, left nobody her knew, home. left Excellent. her home in, in sunny Montecito, California, got on a plane and flew down to Uvalde, Texas to pay her respects right. to the children and the teachers who lost their lives, right. but then also not to just have the volunteers there. to see what the volunteers needed. Yes. To you help know. and give back. She even donated blood. Yeah. And she gave, um, food for the people donating, but she gave food for the volunteers, uh, trying she, to help the families, trying get to back help on the their families. Yeah. And she, she offered to pay for funeral services and different things like that. And, um, I think people, you know, said, and she even called some of them personally. And yes. this, this one family member said, you know, she was so kind. We were so appreciative. Uh, but, you know, we we received so much already. Yes. Because so many people had stepped up and said, um, here, we're going to um, give you free, you know, burials. We're going to give you free, uh, help you with the hospital bills, all these different things. But right. she, they said, Megan even said, yeah, we'll still send something for the kids. Yeah. You know, because... Because she knows. Yeah, and let's face it, all those kids in that school were traumatized. Correct. Yeah, just like we are traumatized, they all those are kids are traumatized. For and a very the parents for a very long time. And the kids who survived, yes, they're going to be traumatized. Correct. So right. she, she's thinking the bigger picture mm-hmm. and giving back. But some of the things like BuzzFeed, who said um, that we, you know, just want to highlight a couple people who said that, um, can you... What they had said was that I had no idea. This one lady said, says, I had no idea who she was. She was just standing next to me, carrying a conversation like I had known her for years at the community center. You know, she thought she was a neighbor. Yeah. And she didn't know who she was until after she left. Who does that? Right. Exactly. And, you know, she didn't want it to be there to be recognized for mm-hmm. anything. Or to be seen or anything no, like that. it was to help out. The only reason people found out that was her is because they had a, um, some crews. Well, people... Well, were I think it was way after. Yeah. I don't know how, yeah. how they really find out, but it's yeah. like 
people recognizing her after, but just wanted to say service is universal. And then the community. Right. The community of Uvalde, they really came forward and because there was so much negative started about Megan. Um, why is she there? Why is she inserting herself? No, she's not inserting, inserting herself. herself. She's, she's helping. She's helping. Exactly. Yeah. Well, some of those people who say that crap, they needed to get to be, they never even said sorry. Correct. Exactly. They were not even minding their damn business and, you know, but, and give sending condolences and or sending money to the Red Cross or, I don't or know. anything to help out. Exactly. Why aren't you being the ones bigger and going and helping? Exactly. Instead of criticizing sizing others. Right. And there is no right or wrong way to help. Exactly. If you're helping. You're helping. Exactly. Right. So and why, the does, why does it bother you how she helped? Right. And mm -hmm. the community came out in defense of her and said, and said God bless her. She has a big heart. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful lady. So caring. Mm -hmm. She's the only human in that family. I love her. Yes. These are people who are not. Exactly. Right. These are people in the local community. Right. Saying thank you for what she who did. Don't follow her. So amazing that she came to show love and support. This is so amazing and compassionate of her to take time to be there for the family and the community of Uvalde, Texas. This says so much about her. Right. This is from a, a couple yeah, there. Yeah, and we have know, a lot of them here. You know, we just took some snapshots of just all the love coming back and it's just like, you know. Yeah, yeah. scan through them. They, if you they under she understands. Yeah, they understand. As a parent. She understood the assignment and executed. Always, yes. but she is a parent now. Yes. And she understands she doesn't want Archie and Lily to grow up mm -hmm. in an environment where they have to fear about going to school yeah and right now that's the case and but now at school it's yeah. the grocery store it's literally anywhere you go it's anywhere you go coffee to get coffee to yeah. get mcdonald's that's not that good yeah. mcdonald's okay. but fill up your gas just in case i wanted to yeah <laughs> <She's> <laughs> to did you totally go to mcdonald's <laughs> I have Happy meal for Archie. yeah Archie. but you know it's anything like that yes, yes. it could be anything and yes. the fact that there's so many haters Yes. Triggering the mentally insane. Exactly. Not only the mentally, just people who just hate her because she's black. But I'm just so glad that the community, the community. said, oh no, mm -hmm. she was being a positive yes, force. Yes, back. Yes. And actually for everybody um, who's listening in, you can also help out um, with uh, Victims First, uh, whether you're giving to the Buffalo victims or Uvalde victims. 100% of your donations will go directly to them. In cash payments. In cash payments mm -hmm. through their organization at victimsfirst.org. Or you can go to the GoFundMe site um, for the Texas Elementary School shooting. Right. So both of which um, are organizations that are helping to support in those two horrible, horrendous, and I can't even believe it wasn't even a full week. I know. Between the two. Between the two, yeah. And we also uh, said, you know, this um, additional um, information about some of these, uh, I guess, organizations, you know, you could go through, you could see what they're about. Right. Um, but we just added as much, you know, as we can. Information, yeah. And you can find out more through the, the um, Victims Org mm -hmm. uh, at their Twitter handle, right. as well as the website that I had mentioned prior. Right. <clears throat> but like we said, the tea time around all this. Yeah. This is... <laughs> okay, first of all, you know, the bots or the derangers, just everything. Why yeah. Why are they so focused over here? I don't know. They are not. They, there's so much stuff they need to be focused on. Yes. And they're not paying attention to that stuff. Right. Instead, it's like the Eye of Sauron <laughs> from Lord of the <laughs> Rings. That, that was the <laughs> evil dude. Yeah, I'm whenever sorry. he turned his eye on you, it yes. meant, yeah, he's coming after you. They're all focused on the United States. Montecito. Yes. And the people occupying well, that home. Well, prior to the horrific things that happened this past week, mm -hmm. first they were like, well, they're going to overshadow the queen. They're going to exactly. overshadow the queen. And we this, sick of this stuff. We want them to overshadow the queen. <laughs> In fact, I'll be mad if they don't do a random walkabout. <laughs> Just walk about. Just go, go to McDonald's. Take off to McDonald's <laughs> where Princess Diana took you. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> A random walk about it. It's going to be in the papers and it's going to overshadow the queen. Do everything you can to overshadow the queen. If that would be my agenda, if I were the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Because these people, oh they God. are just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well, and see, that's what I was saying. So the it was the BBC. So yeah. um, Duchess of Palms or uh, Pula D, she had tweeted, the funny thing, the BBC who harassed Meghan all the way to her car mm -hmm. while in um, the USA press seemed more 
concerned about what's actually going on. We are yes. dealing with a crisis here. Exactly. Or the 19 souls. Right. Yeah. And they're not usually allowed to shout unplanned questions at the royal family. They toe the line more than most. So mm -hmm. why are they following her and exactly. her and asking her all these questions? Yeah. Well, Leave her Getting in, her into the, into the car. Leave. Her, other people into the car. The car driving off. The car making a right turn. It's like... Leave her alone. Leave her alone. It's like that wasn't the time. Um, Hell no. It, yeah. That's the worst time. Exactly. But hey, it was their opportunity to make some money. And that's all what this is about. That yes. and to spread the hate against the Duchess. Exactly. Yeah. But you know, we read them for their filth. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm glad though? Mm -hmm. She doesn't care what you think. Exactly. She, she, didn't, even she didn't even know. Yeah. Not even a thought. She, mm, I'm there. Exactly. Somebody needs help, I'm going to be there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of stuff you know she's doing in the background for different people. One of the things that uh, Christopher Boozy said is like, when... Famous people, mm -hmm. you know, visit places um, when there's a tragedy that happened, their photo is usually taken. Yep. So, by, and, you know, photojournalists took photos of Meghan Marco. I mean, she didn't take the photos herself. She didn't come with her own photographer. Correct. She didn't um, have people follow her around. She came with flowers. She had a hat pulled down over her head. She had on t shirt and jeans, just nondescript outfit. No jewelry, no nothing. You know, she just came. Nobody, she was, bl she blended in. Yes. With those people. Yes. She looked just like one of those people in the air community, casual. Yep. And, you know, because she's not standing on a balcony or anything. She came around with flowers in her hand. Right. And then went to the community centers and helped out. Right. Oh, and they said. And not in high heels. Right. And in, in <laughs> oh yeah, there you are. <laughs> not in high heels. Yes. They said she even went through the back door. Yes. Yeah. Went in through the out. back door. Yeah. She didn't go through the front door like, you know, here I am in my big car. No. Exactly. So. So mind your business, England. Mind your business, the Rangers. Mind your business, the haters. Nobody wants to hear from you. Nobody. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Now, can we talk about spot the photo walk? Exactly. They need to focus on this. <laughs> I, I was going to say the B word, but I'm not going to say it because I'm a good person today. This Karen? Yes. yes. This Karen right here yeah. is who they need to focus on. Yeah. And the who, rest of the other yeah. inbreds. Who shows up with cameras. Yes. You know. You know. Unmasked at a memorial that was banned. Correct. Pretty and at the time with COVID. And, yes. Uh, yes. Yep. And then they beat up the women who actually went were there trying to at, support. After she left yes. this memorial for this uh, young woman who had been, she had been raped. And murdered. And murdered, Yes. They showed up mm -hmm. and she showed up to show sympathy with a photographer and guards. Yes. Nobody does that. Yeah. And walk through without a mask so everybody could see her face. Yep. Uh, her hair. Yeah, it's not all done, but to show that she was so sad and she was so somber. No, that's a photo op. That's staged. Oh, you want to talk about staged? I'm telling mm -hmm. you, who goes to high heels to go to look, a charity? Yeah, to move boxes exactly in heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think that so. box was empty. You see the white dress? Yeah, yeah. it looks like she was back in the fifties, um, nineteen fifties or something, or maybe before during the war. <laughs> no, you know no, when you the didn't. nurses. Yeah, look at that dress. I look know. Like, this. I know. Put a button. The thing it on has the buttons. Sleeves. It has that, buttons. It has that arrow with the short little white gloves. Yeah, that's how you're showing up to to, to volunteer. No, mm -hmm. unless they're plastic gloves and you're going to be cleaning out the bathroom, just, you know, you just step <laughs> off. You know, she's not doing any of that. I know, but still, these still, people need to mind their business. That's, this is who they need this to focus is on. This a photo op. That's a photo op. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, you had also had mentioned you had read some of the oh, responses. Yeah. I read, a, yeah, I read on Twitter uh, where this one guy said, you know, I don't pay attention to them, but after all the hate online for visiting a memorial and helping... I am a supporter yes. of Meghan Markle. Yes. Yeah. I have since become a supporter. He, we have a new member of the Sussex Squad. Not that we advertise for anything. Nope. But people seeing the hate and they're turning away. Yes. They're like, ooh, nasty people. Yep. UK and all the people in the US who are hating on Meghan, you people are sick. Yes. You got issues. And this one, one <clears throat> other guy said, I wasn't a supporter because I don't care about the royals. But seeing the hate in this country against a woman visiting a memorial... I have Harry and Meghan's back for life. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. 
I need to go back, find him and tell him, yes, hashtag Sussex Squad anymore <laughs> yes. so that you can find us because yes. we are out here supporting Harry and Meghan. We have their backs for life. Yes. And that's how the, the hate, mm -hmm. you know, if they mind their own business and focus less on Meghan and, and more, more on their back and now going on in their country. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Well, you know, it's funny you say that. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the future. Yeah. Because it's not looking too yeah. bright. And we're looking at a, at a, at a... And it might be gold encrusted. Exactly. And it's like when they, um, when they but it ain't open that parliament. Yeah. And they had the crown, had its, had its own car. It had its own car, its own goddamn pillow. Exactly. A table and all this stuff. And was so the table they, set higher than Charles? It was, was, on, a, it was on, on a pillow, probably I'm worth millions. I'm surprised they put it higher than Chucky. But, uh, <laughs> and, and this gold room, mm -hmm. I would say, and here you have... These people have the lowest of the low. I didn't see any energy. None, none whatsoever. They all look disgusted, like, I don't want to be here. Dude, dudes, and do that. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was the three of them in there. Uh, Chuck, his Voldemort, and the And, 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 the and this yeah. opulence, and you depressed? Yes. You know, what about the people um, that Suffering are right now. starving right now? Starving. In your country. Can't afford to f heat their homes, mm -hmm. fuel. Right. Or the commonwealth that you're supposed to be queen and king of, you know. Right. What are you doing, doing for, for those any people? of those people? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Mm -mm -mm. So. And just, it just, ugh, so disgusting. It's but, disgusting when you look at them. So, you know, if we take the throwback to that opulence. Yeah. We do know they do love a good show and a good fantasy. yes there was an era of the georgian era yeah we did a podcast of, it. of that yeah uh episode 19.3 was yeah. part of the tutor to windsor and the section was around the sax coburg gotha and part of the end was king george the fourth right the most flamboyant mm -hmm. out of the georges yes <laughs> and they dandy back then in those times meant fashionable yes and so he was the dandy king king mm -hmm. so he had his hair quaffed he had i mean large, oh he had that caesar yes <laughs> jewels i mean with these um, How many necklaces, necklaces that he, they call them we call them necklaces but oh my i'm God. guessing there's some kind of like a uh, thing to represent i'm a king i'm a king I'm yeah a king. but yeah. they were so huge and wide mm -hmm. that i wouldn't even call it a necklace yeah. what we wear for necklaces now it's puny yes it's nothing compared to, to what they wore yeah well and then the heavy robes and then the yes. line with mink fur and all yes kinds of and his crown that was next to him yes. and his shoes i mean his oh, that's shoes, the same crown yeah. Mm -hmm. Or one of them. No, it's different. One of the ones. Yeah. 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 And he had sh every but monarch gets their own crime. Yes. But you see them shoes? Those shoes, I mean. Oh, he was styling. He was styling. Back then? Back then. For, he for would be men, G he would be. GQ. You don't think so? A little, I was thinking Liberace. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we say Liberace now, but back then, yeah, yeah, yeah that, was that was it. That was it. Yes. And. We was like, he's just a dandy. Mm -hmm. You could find those shoes today. It's little, not as fancy as his. You could make it, but you know, yes. men tend to not be as no, except some men. Yeah, there's this some. shoe. Okay. It's like it's a celebrate. It's a velvet. Yes, and men could. It's like a smoking loafer. Yes, right. Or they could wear it in public or not. And you know, you could put anything on it, and you could get it at Stubbs and Wooten. Is that how I put it? Yes. For five hundred and seventy-five dollars in black with champagne glasses flutes on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get any design, right? Because yeah. who happened to wear those? Well, let me just say one thing: Prince Harry would never. <laughs> <laughs> no, Prince Harry, little, would... little airplanes and going pew pew. Yeah. Pew. <laughs> yeah. Prince Harry would never show up no. at the Top Gun Maverick mm -mm. with those shoes on. No. But here's this little dandy dude. You know, he. I think he thinks he looks slick and yeah, James Bond esque. But but yeah, uh, no, nah, yeah. And then I felt sorry for Tom Cruise. I don't know how you felt. Uh, because because <laughs> we have, you know, I like some of lots some of Tom Cruise movies. Right. Yeah, and not all of them. But yeah, he, I felt sorry for him that day because he had to play the role of Harry used to play. Oh, the third wheel. The third wheel where yes. um, the future... You pay attention to Kate and yeah. I go do my thing. I do what I want. I really don't want to hold her hand. Mm -hmm. And 
this way, poor Tom had to do it, which is embarrassing. Well, hey, <clears throat> he was at least being a gentleman and helping her up the steps, but you would think um, Willy Wonka would do it, but he won't. So. He never did. No. But, uh, well, he's already moved on. Mm -hmm. But that's another topic. But speaking of them shoes. Yeah. You see the, the different styles? Yeah, there? different styles. Yes, some you could get a green parakeet that's, on one. Yeah, I think that's an alligator. You could, is it an alligator? Yeah. And oh, then you can get some, see? Gators. Yeah, Absolutely. You, could, gators. you could get a crown on one. You can get a dragon. Dragon's kind of Yeah. Fire. Or the flames. If you want to feel princely. <laughs> <laughs> we just go down that route. We just tell you where to go get the shoes. <laughs> If you want to be dandy, like, like the other brother. Like Baltimore, because like that's Baltimore. all he has right now. Exactly. Look at my feet, not in my head. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> so we're still talking about the future, right? Right. In, in the UK. This is what they need to be focused on, right? right. So If they minded their own business, <laughs> yes. they would be keeping an eye on the expensive <laughs> jubilee. Expensive jubilee, the fact that from the Caribbean to Canada, the message is loud it's and like, clear. We want reparations. And say you're sorry. Republic, we uh -huh. went out of this shit. Exactly. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, so you send in your, your inbred relatives around the world to mm -hmm. see us. It's, it's not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, they're not like getting re-energized by the roles. In fact, they're kind of disgusted yes. by them. You know? Yeah, I mean, the, the one person here tweeted as that why eye-watering expenses of jubilee gets underway let's all remember that it's 2022 and we don't need a sleazy british royal family upholding a class system and giving exclusive use of public property to one wealthy family mm -hmm. while many go hungry is absurd exactly mm -hmm. and someone was saying some of those castles belong to them but some don't right doesn't really belong to them and um I mean, all of that artwork, I'm sure it's privately, some of them, they're yeah, held privately, privately yeah. but their wealth is absolutely ridiculous. And they, they could feed every hungry person, In shelter every hungry person if they wanted to. And help out the Commonwealth, yes. Yeah. And then, they could know, have paid for their own trip to all those islands. They should have paid for their own exactly. trip. Exactly. And they should be paying for their own jubilee. Exactly. Pay for all those roads that you drove on. Right. You know, fix up those places. And then um, even down, okay, the Australian Republic movement, mm -hmm. they even tweeted about the fact that they were, you know. What did they say? About the booing. Oh, really? Is this oh, the yeah. beginning of the end of the British monarchy? I thought so. You know, they're, they're booing you in the stadium. Right. They're booing the national mm -hmm. anthem. And then now uh, it's just crumbling, even more cracks and crumbles. Mm -hmm. uh, Mumbles is mm -hmm. now, I don't know if she knows that she's almost out the door. Yeah. Mumbles make buttons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel sorry. Sorry, no, not sorry. No, because, because she totally... Ch to she made she Megan did her cry. role in part of yeah. harassing Megan, being mean the mean girls. girl, mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. And then trying to do cosplay. Oof. Exactly. And, you know, mm -hmm. and look, and she was never going to work. No. It's bad when the queen, all the way back then, mm -hmm. found some articles when the queen back then said, get a, pro get a proper job. <laughs> Megan had to quit her job <laughs> instead of going to five star resorts before she married. Oh my god, the other brother, yes, and then stalked him. Yeah, you know, again, stalked. took a year off because she's older, technically. Is she older than him? Yes, she took a year off, yes, where she waited to find out where he's going to college mm -hmm. and then followed him to St. Andrews. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so it's like, who does that? And you know, she followed him there, she's going to get in his circle. She's going to take all the classes probably he's taken. Mm -hmm. And she did what um, any Rose of England would do. <laughs> I don't know what she was <laughs> to attract him. But she had to be solely focused to knock out all those other contenders. Oh, yeah. She was on a mission. Yeah. It was Operation Baldy. Exactly. She didn't know he was going to be bald, but I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. But it's like, geez, you know, but the single white femaleing of Megan, she's continuing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then even with that dress. Yes. I mean, the, this is pre Megan wore a dress by that designer pre anything exactly. way back in her. Right. And know? she's going to, and we are just waiting to see Jubilee, what she's going to do at some of those events. Well, I don't know if she knows what to wear now because, you know, no. Megan didn't didn't put out an outfit for no, her. No, Megan has been cosplay. out since, um, since Invictus. Right. There's some things there in Invictus that she can steal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's 
there is the NWSCP award. Maybe she'll try to try do to something like that. that. Um, mm, let's see. No. There's some other things that's she making us wear that. She doesn't have any hips. Don't that dresses. Oh, come on. This is that uh, 2022 dress. just technology. She chose not to use it even in this other dress. But she may choose to use it again. <laughs> I mean, in the future. You don't sew it in the dress. You wear it in the undergarments. Yes, yeah, so that might happen. <laughs> I've seen brides who are flat chested all of a sudden come out with these big boobs. So it's like, yeah. Mm. In mm. these bridal guns. So she look, Wady Katie. And they're my know. relatives. I'm not gonna say who they are. I but like <laughs> But see, Wady Katie, she won't know what to do. Yeah, she's yes. always do. So let's watch that for Jubilee. You know, if you want to focus on somebody for Jubilee, don't talk about Megan and Harry upstaging the um, queen. Talk about this idiot, what she's going to wear. <laughs> yes, yes. But you know, this marks one of the, you know, the 70 years. I think she was just doing it to outlast Victoria so she can like kind of rub it in. You know, I'm the longest reign because that's all she had, right? What no, is, I think she doing? I think it's that alien uh, blood. <laughs> anyway, it anyway. was crazy. <laughs> you know that movie? Yes. Was, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna go with werewolf theory, but anyway. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> so you know, she's got the grand uh, grand room and cute in, in palace, the grandest room in, in the Queen's Palace in Buckingham. It's right? the throne room. The throne room. So I mean, it's opulent. It has the most it beautiful has the chandeliers. It has gold applique, and not just one chandelier. There's like one for each section of the room. Yes, yeah. And a beautiful. They love red, red carpet. It goes back, mm -hmm. and then the chairs. You know, the throne for the king and queen, mm -hmm. and the uh, tapestry behind. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's opulent. It's supposed to be venerated. You know, people go there, and we've seen it. We try to sit on it, but we can. But somebody but else. Somebody did. else did. Yeah. And stunk it up. Yeah, it's no longer a grand throne room unless yeah. they did a, a chair cleaning. It's now the throne to a stinky shame chair. Of yeah, shame of thrones. Yes. Mm. The chair is stinky unless they cleaned it. I don't know. Because can you clean that stain off of it? Gislaine has been sitting in it. Kevin Spacey Epstein. has been sitting in it. Epstein. Epstein's probably sat in it. Who else? I don't know. A wanna. lot of people sat in it. I don't know. Wanna. And speaking of uh, Kevin Spacey, mm -hmm. he's under some fire now in the in the UK. Right. See, in the US, he's under some fire because a lot of oh, people yes. came out and testified against. Yes, they did. It's I don't know what happened if the case is still open, mm -hmm. but the UK is now bringing charges against him. Right. So how many charges? Who the hell knows? Yeah. Four counts. Four, four counts. counts. Of sexual, sexual assault. assault of men. Yeah, and that's what he did in the United States. And his brother said that they grew up in a home where his father violated, you know, them. Them. Mm -hmm. And when he went to, he, the younger brother said, when he went to Kevin, Kevin said, I don't know what you're talking about. So it's almost as if he had turned into that monster. He that is the father, monster. He's a monster. Yep. And that monster was sitting up and in the old throne. Yep. And he's friends with good old Peter. Good old Peter. Yep. And uh, non and look at the nuts. And, and look at who their honorable friends are. Yes. Right? You wonder. Yes. This is who y'all need to focus yeah. on. Yeah. And this focus is who you them. want as your... Yeah. Um, you have Prince Andrew with um, Epstein. Mm -hmm. You had Charles with... What's Seville. It? Seville. Mm -hmm. You had uh, Philip with Montbatten. Mm -hmm. Ugh. And there's things coming about with him now. So you need to focus. You need to clean up your act. Focus on who is advising... Who the are? other brother. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying nothing, but you mind wonder. your business. Yes. yes. Mind your yes. business. Keep it over there. Exactly. And speaking of keeping it over there, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about Queenie bailing out people. She's getting a bailout from the government again? Mm -hmm. Again, yeah. Because see, what happens is... Uh, she paid for Andrew, but not really. So she's taking the bailout money to get her money back. I don't know what she's doing. Okay. I really don't know what she's doing. Okay. But it's, it's, it's sort of like... The gross national product uh, was not as high mm -hmm. um, one year, but she still want, needed her same amount, so even if it wasn't as high. She need, still needed the same amount to be Why given. Why couldn't it be adjusted her, if they didn't make no, the... No, no. Mm. So that is how they are. Mm. You know, but it's for them. They put that in their, in their purses. Yes. It goes in into their bank accounts. It goes wherever the heck it goes. But that's the what the, yes, yeah, so all those haters, <laughs> those about, offshore, yeah, yes. they need to be found the money. So all the haters here, if you ever listen to this, or if you do come in, yes, some do come in here and kind of 
try to say stuff. Mm -hmm. You need to focus on doing some research. On your own shit. The shit in your backyard. Exactly. (laughs) Where does the queen's money go? Where does all that money that goes to the world? And there are family plenty of articles to, out there. Exactly. She was in uh, the Panama Papers. Mm-hmm. Look that up. Right. Especially when you're trying to hire a housekeeper for seven dollars and forty nine cents, which is ridiculous. Fast. Exactly. Or only and, making twenty seven thousand. But you know what? They get year? to live in the castle. I don't give a fuck. They said that. You know, <laughs> you know what they said? <laughs> what? Some people say who actually work there. Yeah. They've been starting to send it, uh, information in mm-hmm. uh, and saying that. The accommodations are like 1950s. It's they've never really upgraded the servants' quarters, and <laughs> stop. <laughs> Sorry, the servants' quarters is still the way it was. The same old toilets, the same. They said still the same plumbing, the same everything. The same everything, yeah. and they said, okay, we were in Kensington Palace. We went on the tour. We used that bathroom. Didn't that need an upgrade? Yes, it did. Yes. And then um, you you go to the, um, the the canteens. They were saying there's rats, mice running across the table in the canteen and coming up through the floor. Mm-hmm. And it, it's not like chefs cooking nice fresh food for those people, right? The servants, no. It's stuff you pre-done. Yeah, the that, pre-stuff that gets delivered. Yes, and you have to go heat it up in your own little, probably rat-infested cocoon of a room you're in. I guess depending on, on what level of service you're providing still to them. It doesn't matter. That's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Mm. But mm. it's sort mm. of like, mm. that's how they treat people, you know. Mm. Why they live among the gold and whatever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mind your business. Try well, to figure out how to not make Elizabeth the last. That's what your focus should be on. Well, make her the last, yes. <laughs> I know everybody else want to make her her last, yeah. but if they were minding their business, all right. this queen, all the people who love the queen, right? All the people who love the royal family, focus on that. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't know the the arguments getting louder and louder. Mm-hmm. So speaking of that, mm-hmm. we are going to turn it back around. <clears throat> well, no, it's not even a back around. It's still around this this horrible philamony and the jubbly coming up. That you know. We put out this plan, I forget what episode it was, it was way back when, but it's still true today. And it's almost like a circular pattern and they keep doing the old playbook. Right. So it's always attack, then harass Megan, then deny and attack again. Right. So we're back into the attack mode. Right. So they're coming for the Sussexes because they're coming to the UK. Right. So they're ramping up all kinds of foolishness Mm -hmm. and of which it's tied into the media, it's tied into... Thomas of Marco. all people, they tried to bring this mofo back. Mm-hmm. And this mofo. Yeah. Mm. They tried to bring it all back. This is stuff they did before, and they were still con- continuing. And this man, just to recap a little bit of history, this man cut off talking to Harry and Meghan. Uh-huh. And started before listen- the wedding. Before the wedding, and started listening to the other brother, and was taking directions from him. And Jason Knopf. Yeah, so while Megan and them were trying to get him, um, send a car for him, a man to pick him up, to bring him, they had a, a wardrobe they had ready, everything for him. ready for him. Yep. He was over there acting a fool. He had no intentions of coming to the wedding, and he followed because he was directed by Don, Dan Wooten. Dan Wooten and, 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 and Jason Knopf. Yeah, taking the pictures of mm-hmm. him pretending that he was getting a heart attack and all this stuff. Right. And now he's back pretending. Well, no, he had a stroke back He had then. a stroke. No, yes. No, no, he, he had a heart stroke. attack. Oh, he had a heart attack And he had then. stints put in and he was out in three days. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so apparently he did that. Mm-hmm. He pulled that stunt and guess what's happening again? Another stunt. Because they invited him to Chile. Well, those motherfuckers invited him to the Jubilee. Yes. But to embarrass the, Megan. Yes, yes, to try to embarrass Megan, but mm-hmm. also thinking that uh I don't know why this narrative is out there with the derangers about she needs to go check on her father. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No. 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 Mm-mm. no. no. We cut that mofo off back mm-hmm. before the wedding. I would cut a parent off if they harassed me. Harassed me, mm-hmm. paid other people to harass me. People are paying you to put my name and defame me mm-hmm. to continue to do so. Right, going through all of the shadiness mm-hmm. that's going on, and that happens to a lot of people. Yes, in the um, entertainment business. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. A matter of fact, somebody, uh, they, this is only eight of the things that they remembered. Mm-hmm. Um, went on national te- television just to mock you and make mm-hmm. fun of you after mm-hmm. you said you were suicidal. Right. Called you your 11 month old daughter trash. Mm-hmm. Uh, went on a national television to admit his plan to destroy and ruin your wedding. Mm hmm insulted your husband and then admitted he suffered depression and loneliness after his mother tragically died Mm -hmm. when he was a teenager uh faked a heart attack and strokes Mm -hmm. to emotionally manipulate you gives excuses uh sorry exclusive interviews to tabloids to write the most vicious lies about you hire someone to stalk your mother calls your mother evil and insults her every chance that he gets now again would you try to reconcile with this mofo? Hell no. Hell no. That's why we say mind your business. That's why we say this full no. They're all part of the plan. And right. God forbid the crazy ass whatever. I'm not even, she's not. Mm. And we've, we've also seen the pictures. Have you seen the demeanor of this man? Can we just talk about this picture? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone. First of all, who gets put onto a gurney like that? Yeah. And then two, um, why does he have the the self <laughs> and what the self pumping <laughs> well, <oxygen it's>... bag? <laughs> yes, that's not what you put on people. Exactly. Who had a stroke? Right. <laughs> no monitors. His arms are at, at oh, one point, His hands were up. One point, his hand was down. His head is propped up. He's holding his head up, and he's not even strapped into that. Thing. Yeah, a major stroke. <laughs> No. You, mentally, you could be out of it. And the gurney's not even covered. They don't even have a... What? Mm -hmm. What? What? (laughs) Okay. Whatever. Nothing wrong with that man. Exactly. So, that's why he has become now known as... The Duke of Mexico. (laughs) (laughs) The Duke. The Duke. (laughs) Breaking everybody. The Duke of Mexico. The Earl of Rosita. Or Rosa Ciro. And then the Baron of KFC. Yeah. <laughs> All of these things. Because that's the only place he um, he, um, he goes to. Right. And he is pleased to announce the appointment of a new private secretary. He has also released the royal crest of which he worked on with the sergeant of arms and has received mm-hmm. the royal seal of approval. And the Sussex squad did it again. Oh. And they were so embarrassed. They I think they were embarrassed by all of this. That he, because they were like, he's coming to the UK, he's coming to UK for the Jubilee. And um, I think when the Sussex squad, everybody got on this, you know, tweeting and doing all sorts of stuff, they were embarrassed because they put him in Prince Edward's uniform. It was priceless. The fake <laughs> uniform was expert. They put him in carriages with the with different the queen royals. And, and so, and uh, mm-hmm. Ford Fiesta, mm-hmm. even to put Chucky. <laughs> Laying his head on the other brother. I mean, it's like it was a, it's the funniest thing. Yes. So, uh, yeah, well, I had a good time with that. I tell you what, Sussex mm-hmm. Squad, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Our whole entire mm-hmm. the squaddies, they just bring it out. They nowhere. just bring it out of nowhere. I'm telling you, the creativity. Right. <laughs> So, more tea time. So, mm. it's bad enough that she she already cut him off. Right. She already said she cut him off. Mm-hmm. She's done with him. He's still trying. He's still trying to mooch. Mm-hmm. Right. The and do, not because, crazy, deranged stepsister right. trying to mooch. The, 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 all of the media mm-hmm. who's mad because they couldn't make money off of her. Now, it's um, the haters and the mm-hmm. derangers on YouTube. And we did find out um, Jennifer Anderson is following mm-hmm. a hater who says some vile things about the uh, Duch- Duchess of Sussex. And hence why I don't like her. I yeah, never really, we never really did, and they like her. And yeah. plus all of her um, stuff is touched up, all of her commercials for that hair that shampoo never, thing. You can't style your hair in any other way? No, Wait. no. And the hate she has, <laughs> and she's like a Kate. She is Kate. She's a Karen. She's a Karen. She made uh, everybody hate um, Angela Jolie. Not that I like Angela either. Because but that, they all have issues. Well, she but, got issues. she got some Karen issues. Yeah, but too. the thing is, but this one, both yes. of them, Follow. Jennifer had a problem with her mother. She's never spoken to her mother in eons because mm-hmm. her mother did the same thing, giving mm-hmm. interviews, trying to get money from her. The so other one, that, so you would think she would be understanding of what Megan is going. Yeah, through. people would understand that. So it's just a difference. It's like, well, only white women are, are allowed to um, 
cut off their parents who are vile and hostile towards them, but it's black woman can't give me a give me give, give me us a break, break. Mm -hmm. you know just move on we'll cut you off faster than you can say what exactly and that's why some people think it's okay to, to attack a woman of color for sport yes you know this one this this um yeah i don't even want to say her name but that that witch taz yeah is out there still calling stuff out mm -hmm. still trying to say just the ugliest of ugly yeah because she makes seventy thousand dollars from YouTube. Well, she you know. she well, so she was the second highest paid mm -hmm. hater after yeah. that other crazy one that Christopher Boozy found out. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. so. and she's still out there. And so, she wasn't um, the um, half sister who didn't even like Ma uh, Megan under her control. Yes, yes, she was being trained up by her, but evidently she's too dumb for the training to make because I don't think she's making enough money. <laughs> so that's why she's like, I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue. Yeah, whatever. She could try what she wants. Yeah. I, please, it, it, please it, matter of fact, please sue. Go yeah, ahead and yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, we need that. We need the father. Yes, yes. Yes. So, but before we end, we just we just felt that to get ready for a jubbly, and I know there were some pictures of um, the trooping of the color practice. No, and the polo. Well, no, but the... A lot of the, the polos. Polo. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the polo. And we want... Um, <laughs> We have some two pictures. One of Prince Harry playing polo, and his um, his brother from another mother, who uh, <laughs> the <laughs> other brother, the other brother. Yes. Who is one for another mother says he who uh, started Las Padres with him says yes. he's a very good competitive player. So here he is, strength, manly man. You could probably see the muscles rippling from his chest. Ah, oh, you're talking about Nacho, yes. Dear Nacho. No, I'm talking about Harry right now. Yes, yeah. Harry. Yeah, but, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. But then the other picture is like of this dude. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's about to fall off. Yeah. I mean, seriously, the horse is scared. <laughs> you know. What is the horse is like, look, I can't keep you on like this. Exactly. Like, you know. That his butt is all up in the air, looking just like his father. Remember when his uh, oh, his father his did the same fell thing. off, yes. fell off the, the thing, just like that. Butt? Yes. yes. So what we want you to do is help us out. We need a caption. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't know how to caption it. So yes. caption this for us. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's it's joke. It's laughable. It, it, look, it, it it writes themselves. Yeah, because if they you know if they minded their own business, they'll be sure you you know trying to figure out. How can we raise the future king to keep his be safe? We yes. don't want him to get hurt because right. he's the future. Right. But to be a manly man, to be strong. Maybe they'll do that for George, but they if they follow the same program, mm -hmm. he ain't going to be much different from uh, his father or his grandfather. Yep. Pretty much. You know, pretty much. And yeah. it's going to be sad, but yeah, we you guys need to look at your training plan. Look at your program. <laughs> Look at your training plan. <laughs> Look at your programming because it ain't cutting it. No, no. But I saw you. Yeah. Oof. They are ridiculous. I mean, it's just too much hate against um, the Duchess of Sussex for just living her life. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do next week, next week, I'm going to oh, be out there. I'm working at Popcorn. Ready. Yeah. I'm out watching. There, watching and I'm going to be posting everything, pictures of Megan, yes. all over the place. There wouldn't be any time for any Jubilee stuff, <laughs> even if they have it. Even if they have it. And I do encourage them to do a walkabout. Yes. and like Don't so go on the balcony. Oh, don't no, do no. any of that stuff. They're not going to do that. But just do something totally different. Just like random. Yeah, like when they have. In fact, go see that, uh, that organization with the dogs. Yeah. Go, no, mm -hmm. they might look for them. Go to oh. Stonehenge. What? <laughs> Go to Bath. Go to Bath. While they're <laughs> in, in town having a party or something. Yeah. And then the only pictures that will be shown on their TV and on their newspaper. Oh, look. Megan and Harry are in Stonehenge. Stone <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, so do something totally. Do something random. Yes. Do something random. Totally. Yes. Do what they're telling you not to do. Just Overshadow drive, the jubilee. Just driving crazy. Just driving crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to go into that. Mm -mm. It's sad too because I saw some of the um, mm -hmm. people tweeting about it saying, "How can I? Where is on the map that I can go the furthest from these jubilee parties?" Yes, mm -hmm. some people are leaving the country. <laughs> well, they don't want to be around that mess. No, you know, and as much money as they're spending, I, you know, on the, on the other hand, I hope Harry and Megan just go over there and be safe. Yeah, be safe. Mm -hmm. Security. Let your kids see grandma. 
and then get a flight out. Yes. Just leave. In and out. Yeah. Do a drive by. <laughs> we we give you drive by. We give you permission. You have the Palm City podcast permission. <laughs> Just mind your business. You ain't part of the family. Exactly. Well, they did say, like, look, we ain't here for that. We yeah. here to see my grandmother. Exactly. Exactly. And say bye. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Have a good one, and we'll be back soon.